Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is all about how to create an article in the knowledge module of OVO 70. So as you all know, knowledge module is a new addition to OVO which was introduced in the version 16. Okay, so in OVO 60, we had this new module called knowledge. So this module is basically used to create articles and we have much more inside the module. So let's see how to create an article inside the knowledge module of Odoo 17. There are some other updates also inside this module. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the video. So now let's see how to create an article inside the knowledge module. So first of all, I'll open the knowledge module and while you open itself, you can see an article which is pre-created. Okay. So here is the article which says, hello there, Michelle Edmund. So let's see you can see a lot of things inside the body of the article okay so let's create one for our own so if you just take a look at the top of the screen here you have this new click on the new button which will enable you to create a new article okay so first of all what you have to do is you have to provide a heading now if you just move your cursor to this untitled area there you can find add icon as well as add cover so you can add an icon for your article. So this is a random, you know, emoji which has come. If you want to change it, click on that and you have several options from which you can choose one. So I'm putting it as such and then, sorry, I'm just removing it. And then here you have the option to add a cover. That is, if you want to add a syst I mean, a picture from your system, you can add it from here. Okay. So simply search for an image and you can simply upload it. Or if you want to add a URL, that is also possible. So, uploading an image from your system is possible through this place. Okay. So, I'll put like flowers or something. I'll show you what comes. No, here no images are found. Okay. Now, if you want to upload it, you can upload from here. Upload an image and from there you can simply upload it. Okay. And then you have the setup unsplash to access royalty free photos. So, you have the option to take photos from unsplash. Okay, so for that you will need to set up it. So that's, it's that simple. And here you have to provide the heading. So I'm giving the heading as Odoo ERP. Okay, so this article is about Odoo. Okay, now that's the heading. Now here you can see type slash for commands. So if you type slash, you have variety of options over here. Okay, so you have this structure section, the banners, and then you have the format, the media, navigation, widgets, knowledge, knowledge databases, AI tools, as well as the basic blocks. Okay. So once you put a, you know, heading and all, what the next thing is the paragraph. So I'm going to write a content about the Odoo ERP. So here you have text or paragraph block. So I'm just choosing that and pasting something, which is a data about Odoo. Okay. So that's how you write a paragraph. This is a whole paragraph. Okay. So you can simply move it. If you're moving, it means the whole paragraph will be moved together. Okay. So if there is any kind of corrections and all, you will see that. Okay. So that's done. Now, if you click on slash again, what happens is that we'll go one by one. Here you have some bulleted lists. So I'm giving the name of the modules as bulleted list. So here we have the sales module, the purchase module, and the inventory module. So I'm giving three modules as the bulleted list. Now, if you want to get out of it, press enter twice. Okay. See? And then again, you have this slash icon where you can put numbered list. So I'm adding three more modules like you have the small modules or lunch module, the fleet module. Okay. And you even have the employee module. So that's how you add the numbered list. Okay. And then you have the checklist. Okay. So here you can write any kind of data and simply check the checkbox. So I'm writing, is there a new module? Or simply you can write as uh, easy, user friendly. Okay. So out of which you can choose whether Odoo is easy or user friendly, whatever it is. Or even if you are preparing a checklist if you want to buy something or any checklist and all you can simply use this checkbox and once it's done you can cross the checks okay so that's the checklist and then you have this table that is if you want to insert a table into your system you can do that and from here you can choose the number of rows and columns okay so 
see how many you choose based on that the color will be filled so i'm i'll choose a table like this so this is the table so i'm putting as the hr modules which belongs to odoo hr modules and then i'm putting on some small modules so under this hr module you can provide the hr modules like it can be used in such a way okay so here i have you know chosen two rows two columns things and then you can choose it from here so here you can provide the modules like employee recruitment and all so if you are creating such a data means then you can choose that sorry and then you have this small module so here you have things like the iot and then you have email marketing things like that okay so that's how you insert a table so you can choose how many rows and columns you want just by inserting a table okay as i showed I, I, like as i've showed you guys you can choose the cells and based on whatever you choose that colors will be filled in the cells okay and then you have the separator that is if you want to separate a content so here i'm going to separate the data or if you're choosing it here here you want to separate the data that is the paragraph and the list you want to separate choose the separator from here okay and then you have the topic like module details and all so if i want to give this in see i'm giving slash and if i want to provide a heading so i'm choosing heading 2 and giving module details so heading styles we have so much like h1 h2 and all so if you just take a look you have heading 1 heading 2 and heading 3 so this is the heading 2 and heading 3 will be a little bit lesser in size so once that's done you can just scroll down so separator is done now if you want to quote anything so here i'm quoting something i'll put like okay so let's do that so i've quoted a statement over here okay you can do that as well so that's how you quote something inside an article now if you uh, like click on slash and if you want to add a, a block of code and all inside your article what you have to do is choose this and from here you can add so here simply you can see the code that is the font has changed okay so if you want to put as hello world see this is how you insert a code okay and then you have two columns three columns and four columns so that is you can directly convert things into two columns three columns are even convert it into four columns so if you just putting two columns means here you are putting hello here you are putting odoo okay so based on whatever you your data is you can simply choose it now from here you have similarly the four column ones as well as three columns now currently we have only two so if you are choosing three means you will get three and if you are choosing four means you will get four so next we have this uh, remove columns now if you want to remove these columns what will you do i'm putting remove columns so that's removed and it has come one after the other okay so that's how you remove columns of data and then you have the banner section where you have the banner info that is if you want to insert an info banner so i'm putting this is an article about od so this is an information banner that's it okay that's how you add an info banner i'm getting out of the info banner and then you have the success banner so you might have seen all these things inside odoo right the success banner info banner or not so i i i have chosen an info i mean a success banner and where i'm giving you have completed the article okay you have completed the article now i'm getting out of the info i mean the success banner and then you have the warning banner so i'll be like putting some data inside this i'll put be careful about the data okay 
So that's the warning banner. It's something which warns you. And then you have the danger banner. So this is an error. Okay. So you might have came across all these banners inside Udo. So this can also be used inside an article. Based on your need, you can use it. Okay. So that's the banner section. And then you have the formats where I've already shown you heading 1, 2 and 3. So 3 is basically something which is lesser in size than 2 and 1. Okay. And then you have switch directions. So if I'm choosing this data, and I'm putting switch direction means the direction have changed. Again, I'm choosing it. Putting switch direction, the direction have changed. So we want to change the direction of any of the data or any of the text, you can simply choose that. So that's how you do it. And you've already gone through paragraph section. And then you have the media where you can insert a video. Okay. So from the YouTube, you can search for videos. Okay. And that like that link can be copied and pasted. Okay. And here it comes. See whatever the link is, you can see. The provided URL is not valid because I've not given a valid URL. Okay. And I'll show you how to insert a video inside the I mean, I'll show you about the media insertion inside the article. So we'll do one thing. I'm going to add a media. Let's try doing one. So I'm putting the link over here. And then here comes the video. That is the preview of the video cup. So this is actually a very good feature because once you add the link, the video is appearing over here. And you can simply insert the video from here. See, this is how you insert a video. And after that, we have some other medias as well. If you want to insert an image, okay, you can simply search for an image over here. So if I simply search for Odoo, let's see if any results come. No images, but it's okay. You can use these images, okay, or from the documents, you can choose one or even the icons. So I'll choose an icon, which is this. So that's how you add an image or an icon. And if you want to link to an article, that is, this article can be linked to an existing article. So what to do? Click on this and choose the article. So I'll put the link of the article, which is Welcome Michelle Edmund. Yeah, and then you have the option to add buttons as well as links to your um, article. Okay, so you have things like the link button and appointment where you can add a link that is a link which, you know, leads you to some pages. Similarly, a button, both are actually same. Okay, exactly the same thing. And here you have the appointment. That is, if you want to add any specific appointments and all, you can simply choose the appointment from here and insert the link. See, schedule an appointment. And similarly, you have this button. Okay. So you can choose the name. That is what the name should be visible. And then you can choose the URL from here. So whatever the URL is. And you can select the, you know, type, size and all things for the button. So that's how you add a button. So this is the appointment scheduling things and all. So that's the navigation section. And if you want to add any kind of widgets like rating and all. So if you want to put three stars and you want to put five stars, that is to rate the article or anything inside the article. And also to add an emoji. Okay, that's possible here in Odoo. And that is the knowledge module of Odoo. That is inside an article, you can make it very much attractive by using all these things. And here under the knowledge section where you can add the index. Okay. So you can see the index. Nest articles under this one to generate a structure. So you can use this index. Okay. So you have the option to show list as well as refresh. Whatever the articles are, you can put it under this index. Okay. So then you have the table of content. So you can actually provide a table of content here. So this should be actually kept on top. Right. So let's drag and drop it on top. So once you begin an article, it should show you, right, what the table of content is. So by, just by clicking on these headings, it will take you to the sections. It is based on the headings which we give. The table of content has been created. Okay. So there you have an option to upload a file. So here's a file. I'm uploading it. And then you can add a clipboard section. So this is the clipboard section. From there, you can copy the data and use it. And then you have the knowledge database where you can add item list, item Kanban, item cards, and item calendar. 
So you, as you know, this list can be cards, calendar, and all are different views. Okay. So if you want to insert any list view of article items or can be view of article items, or even the card view and the calendar view, it can be done from you. So which article item do you want to manage, or what items do you want to manage? So I'll put modules. Insert it. Okay. Yeah, so based on the things which you give, the articles can be inserted into, I mean, the views can be inserted into the article. So that's done. And then you have the item calendar. So inside this item calendar, you can add the calendar view. And then you have the very interesting thing, which is AI tools. That is, if you want to generate or transform content with AI, you can use this. So here is chat GPT. You can, you know, just write whatever you know. So I'm asking what is Odo. Okay, this is basically the chat GPT and it will be, that is the Odo bot will be giving you the answer. See, and from here you can actually use it to your, uh, you know, article. So I'll simply show you pasting this or you can use this to insert. So I've inserted that successfully. Okay, rather than copying it, you can directly insert that from the AI. So that's a very interesting feature which has come to the article section. And finally, once you complete everything, you can put a signature. And... Other than all these things, as I said before, I'll just take this area and here you can add item calendar. As I said, you have different views, right? So from here, you can choose the views. So insert a calendar view. If I'm adding meetings, the start time and end type should be given. Okay. So you can type it or add whatever it is and simply insert it. So you can see this is how the calendar view is inserted to the article. So similarly, we have other views which are like the so just before the signature, I'll show you. Yeah, so you have this card view, the Kanban view, the list view and all. So all these views are actually knowledge database known as the knowledge database. You can choose it, insert it. So see, it's inserted. So this is basically how you insert different views also inside the article. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So now you guys know how to create an article in the knowledge module of Odoo 17. I hope it's very clear for you guys. If you have any queries, please let us know. That's all we have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.